Hi everyone, this is a video about the Bluetooth board uh, that I uh, made a video on my channel a long time ago. Uh, 5 volt, 2 times 3 watt Bluetooth amplifier that I uh, wanted to, uh, you know, to make a project with that. So I have made this project and if you remember, uh, that Bluetooth wasn't uh, strong enough for another speaker uh, drivers that I had, but I kept it for a another project. So I had a, a Vio, Sony Vio uh, desktop that unfortunately it was at the end of his leg and unfortunately uh, it was obsolete rather and regrettably I had to you know dismantle it and one of the items that I have salvaged from the Vio uh, desktop was these two speakers and each of these speakers they've been the same size as whole of this and I just cut them and then stuck two speakers together. I have to tell you it was very difficult to make every line straight with the OCD that I am. But somehow this is the end result. So I use these two as the legs and put two pads here. And then uh, as the amplifier uh, board is 5 volts I have used this power bank that is also showing the percentage of the remaining power and then is rechargeable and you can charge your mobile phone with this considering what sort of battery is inside at the moment there is a 18650 battery I think is 2500 milliamp hour and somehow it works well I stuck it to the back of this unit and acts as a leg as well when you uh, want to listen to it and it also uh, uh, knock this out of balance it doesn't let it to stand on these two feet anymore but still I think it's better like like this <coughs> now I'm going to open it I have took the four screws out I wanted to show you the inside my setup is not much but uh, I thought maybe you want to see that on this side on the back side you don't have much to see uh, unless uh, just the switch rocker switch normal rocker switch and the entrance for the mains coming in the DC mains coming in and connecting to the switch and then going to the unit via a micro USB connector and then this is the unit and these are two speakers I think these two speakers are 3 watts uh, 4 ohms 3 watts or maximum 5 watts but when it was on the desktop it was really sounding good and it was powerful enough to have these two uh, air blowing uh, channels or tunnels here I had to cut them to the side because it was on, it, on, its, on the speaker's ways somehow uh, it was a little bit tinny I had to block them like so and then um, for the bluetooth light I had made a small hole here but it's sealed with a transparent double-sided glue 
uh, M3 glue that is showing a little bit of uh, blue light and when, when I'm going to demonstrate this you are going to see how visible it is and these two speakers I think they can manage uh, better amplifiers but at the moment I can't find any amplifier that can be fit in here that is 5 volts and Bluetooth so the space here is really restricted why are these two and these a little bit of you know lake formation here and on each corner there is not much space and if I want to use a TPA 3110 is too large and uh, you, you cannot run it with uh, 5 volt uh, power bank so you have to utilize a buck converter to uh, you know somehow lift up the 5 volts and then you have to store it somewhere but there is no space here anyhow this is the setup and this is the speaker and if you are interested to see the speaker I have made these grills myself and this is the speaker and all around here is plastic and the rest is as normal and the movement is not bad but you need a powerful really powerful uh, amplifier to move these so and I used a little bit of a lot of actually of this material inside to just make it a little bit sound better but it was uh, buffering all the sound and I took them out and now uh, I'm going to close this up uh, via these four uh, screws and then we are going to have a demonstration I leave this one open to, sh to see the movement if any so I see you in a moment another thing that I forgot to mention if you look at all surrounding of this box speaker box there is a groove in here all around and there is an edge here that is going to uh, assist the seal inside here and any vibration and so on so I just thought maybe to mention that and then I made a hole here and then I blocked it with double sided for the Bluetooth uh, light LED light to sh shine through but with this little uh, plastic surrounding of this side of the speaker still the Bluetooth light is shining through this and we are going to see that when I uh, close this sound anyhow I see you in a moment so the item is back together and now is fully sealed and in order to turn it on with these sort of power banks first you have to turn the power bank, power bank on and then turn the unit on. Bluetooth mode. The, the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. I wanted to show you the blue light here and the shining of the blue light through the speaker and you see that the Bluetooth is on and now is connected I turn the lights back on and we are going to have a demonstration as usual with the same copyright free song and now play <coughs> I think uh, I have missed the song. Okay, let's let's go for it. 
Okay. Now he's on. Have you ever fell? Are you listening? I'm afraid the amplifier is not strong enough to make any movement here. I, I, you can feel a little bit of vibration, but this is the max volume now. a bit of padding here when you put it on the table it's not going to be plastic to the wood and avoids a little bit of vibration I think you are you agree that uh, it is a, a little project that I have done but I am looking for a more powerful uh, amplifier to use this to maybe be able to make a little bit of exciting movement of these speakers. These speakers, as I believe, they have been very loud, very, very loud. But now it's just, uh, you know, something beside your bed at night time. You can have fun with it. Anyhow. Thanks for watching and until my next video, take care of yourself and each other and as always, have a wonderful time.